Hey gorgeous, today I am here to talk to you about the foundational piece around being magnetic that no one else is out there talking about. I'm Lauren Joyce, sex, love, and relationship coach. I so often hear from women this desire to feel desired by men, to want to be magnetic, to want to be the woman that walks into a room that everyone's looking at, the women want to be, the men want to be with. And when it comes to dating and relationships, connecting with men, there's a lot of information out there. And a lot of it isn't actually gonna get you what you want, especially because most of this information doesn't talk about this one key piece. Are you ready? It's a woman's connection to her sexual power. Now hear me out on this one. Most other coaches, mentors, people giving you dating advice and love advice aren't talking about this key piece. Why? It carries a lot of baggage, weight, criticism, and it's still pretty taboo in our culture, unfortunately. However, a woman's connection to her sexual power is the most important piece when it comes to attracting anything and everything you want in life and really creating the kind of deep, passionate, intimate partnership that you truly desire. So again, most other people aren't out there talking about this and they're not actually helping you connect to this power because they haven't done the work themselves, it's still taboo, they're afraid of criticism, and I get all of that. However, we've been systematically cut off and oppressed from our sexual power as women. Why? Because it is that powerful and potent. When a woman is connected to her sexual power, she knows with every cell of her being, her worthiness. She cannot be oppressed or contained. And when a woman is in full power, full connection to her sexual power, she is a fourth force of nature that nothing can rock. So you can imagine if we had a world out there of women who were that connected to our own personal power. First of all, the world would look vastly different, but you can also understand why for thousands of years we've been shamed, oppressed, criticized, and cut off from our true power source. So if you're looking to be magnetic, one of the first steps that you actually need to take is coming into acceptance, love, and connection to your sexual power. Now this goes far beyond just what happens in the bedroom. This is really the connection to your power source. So today I wanna to give you three tips to help you start connecting to your sexual power. Now again, if you decide to travel down this road, there's gonna be a lot that comes up for you, which makes sense. Again, you've lived your entire life in a culture that isn't really sex positive and definitely does not encourage a woman to live from and have a connection to her sexual power, right? So just know that when you start traveling down this path, there may be a lot of stuff that comes up for you emotionally, mentally, you may feel some shame. We've been taught to not only not acknowledge our any desires that we have, but specifically not to embrace the part of us that is sexual. Now, here's one of the biggest downfalls about this, ladies. The fact is, as human beings, as animals, we have this primal desire for sex and sexuality, right? So you can imagine that being oppressed and cut off from such a primal part of ourselves leaves us feeling disempowered, unworthy, undeserving. It leaves us constantly looking to the outside to feel whole. It leaves us feeling overly emotional because we don't know how to connect to the part of us that helps us handle those emotions, that helps us really come from a place of power, that helps us set and can set and maintain clear and healthy boundaries, okay? So the three steps to help you start tapping in and connecting to your sexual power is number one, mindset. Start to really look at what are your mindset, beliefs, thoughts around sexuality in general, your own sexuality, and more important, your sexual power. This part of the process 
can be very enlightening and very powerful. Again, thinking back to what you were told or taught as a child, as an adolescent, is going to actually start to highlight why you feel the way that you do about maybe your own sexuality, but more importantly, about your own power and your own worthiness to have what it is that you want. Step number two is start intensifying the amount of pleasure that's in your life. So really putting an emphasis and a focus on sensuality. Now sensuality is just living life with all of your senses engaged. And what brings you more pleasure than actually tasting the food that you're eating, actually feeling the lotion that goes on your skin, right? So what I want you today to do today is to start looking at how can you incorporate more pleasure. Start demystifying. We've been taught that pleasure is wrong, that it makes us superficial or needy or whatever. But when you start to look at what your mindset is around this and two, start incorporating more pleasure, that's going to be super, super helpful. And step Number three is start connecting to your sexual energy. So if you focus on your sacral chakra, which is around um, like your lower belly, right? Where your reproductive organs are as women or where the energy of your reproductive organs are, okay? So your vaginal canal, your cervix, your womb, your ovaries, that's where our life force energy is stored. That is the epicenter of our sexual energy and sexual power. So today, just start connecting. See if you can feel the energy there. Maybe put your hand right below your lower belly and just start to see if you can connect to the energy that's there. Once you start to connect to that energy and you feel how powerful it is, you're going to start to feel a little bit more comfortable in owning and cultivating your sexual power. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will receive my weekly videos. Have a great day.